Hello, it's Dr. Brian McDonough. Welcome to Coronavirus Today, the Dr. Brian McDonough Show. It is Saturday, July 9th, 2022. Right now, if we look in the world, as far as deaths from COVID, we're at 6,347,857. Here in the United States, 1,020,816. We lost, uh, in 28 days, 9,431 people. Now, the way I break that down is that we're losing 336 people a day to COVID. That's 122,939 people a year. That is a significant number. When you think that heart disease takes out about 450,000, 122,939 is a lot of deaths. We still have to understand the importance of vaccination, the importance of testing, the importance of wearing masks, the importance of making sure that we improve air circulation. And I know that denial is a big part of COVID. I know it's frustrating because you just don't want to deal with it anymore. And a lot of people have put it in the rear view mirror, but the combination of deaths from COVID and long COVID, we can't afford to do that. We don't have to focus on it all the time, but we have to understand we just can't ignore it. If you ignore it, it doesn't go away. It's like cancer. If you ignore that you have a breast lump, it's going to grow. You can ignore it but it's gonna get worse. We cannot deny things just because they're inconvenient. I also wanna talk about something, it's rapidly turning into a national conversation. And that is the idea of working from home with COVID or in, frankly with our other illnesses. A lot of politicians and public figures, it's a sign of strength to say, I have COVID, but I am working from home. And it sounds good, it sounds impressive. And don't get me wrong, you should stay home if you have COVID. You do not want to spread the virus to others. So that's commendable. But the working from home kind of bothers me as a physician. And here's why. Our immune system is what helps fight infections, especially something like COVID. If you're working from home and you're stressing yourself and you're not getting enough rest, enough sleep, enough fluids, what are you really doing? You're kind of fighting your own body's ability to beat that illness. And I don't want to normalize the thought of people working from home, because if you think about it, just because a person can work from home, should they? 